as the clock ticks I'm surprised by every second I've been trying to get to heaven by the time I'm 27 So welcome to the 27 club The 27 club The 27 club Club Accidental overdose Suicide car crash Murder I don't care as long as these bars last Welcome to the 27 club yeah. The 27 club Yo. The 27 Yo. club Club Brother Pryor activated Get Slated Welcome back to Get Slated I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here But everybody make some fucking noise <laughs> I'm now your host Rex Regis I'm in you end though Make some noise people what's happening yet? Yeah. Yo, yeah. On my right hand side Oh fuck that's deaf as well but he's Definition never Definition monster squad shit right. On my right hand side Hometown favourite, make some noise yeah. for yeah. Make some noise for Definition Runner Club. Yeah. Yeah. 15 pound a month. Yeah, it is, uh, it's fucking extortion. And on my left, he's come all the way from Oxford. Some old biddy nicked his seat on the train. Make some noise for Jess. Second rounds, Jay's elected to go Stop first. So it's 90 seconds on Jay's. Hold it down, people. Let's go. You're Newcastle, you ready? Yes? Come on, yeah. Come on, Ginger. Now let me start this off by saying, my last battle, that shit was basic. Reg SD wouldn't upload it and I just couldn't face it. But why would I care? So all I gotta say is, I murdered Dido in that battle and he got his just deserves. For raping that 15 year old girl as far as I'm concerned, but you? Well, you murdered Owl in that battle and that was questionable. But I found the evidence that you came back for a take two like you enjoyed the taste. You were given chappers and he body bagged you and made you look a fucking disgrace. He left you half a man. So chappers set the pre now let me set the sequel. Because right now you must be dumb as fuck thinking you were me or equal. Because between you and me, there ain't no competition. Because right now I'm in your own backyard and I'm beating you into submission. So me ending his career tonight, sure thing. Because I've come north today to body bag this murderer like Dexter Morgan. Yeah. 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 But let me explain why I went winning today. With your basic style being nothing to applaud. All it is is mum joke, sister joke. Is that something that I'm meant to think is raw? Personally, I heard that shit two years ago, but nowadays it's played out and piss poor. So why don't you grow up, you Charlie's degenerate, and grow some fucking balls? But wait, his style and flow, nothing that I'll ever feel at all. Because no umbrella will be able to cover up this catastrophe like Resident Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Beasley come with an angle today, saying I don't deserve this battle. And I only got it due to vaults dropping out. You're right, actually. But he's my boy, and he still told me to dead you. So I look back on your battles, I can tell you weren't a bright spark. I can tell you didn't have the current flows. What's the problem if you not being able to put on a good show? You're basically a lunacy joke generator. And you being like that, how can me and vaults not hate you? But your battery's wearing thin, because you don't have the power or energy to keep up with me or him, but I've destroyed your vaults and things to do with him just to prove this is being overpowering. Time. So here it is. Two. March 29th, the date. Oi Oi steps on stage to face one of Battle Rap's lowest case performers, Charlie Phillips, aka Jace. A guy that's not only got two eyebrows, but an extra bit of an eyebrow beside the right one on his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this kid's from the notorious streets of Oxford. So in his GCSEs, he probably's got four E's, a B and an E star in maths. When I was 16, I got a girl on her knees, took four E's, fucked her like a G and C, it was class. Yeah. Yeah. But, but speaking of sexual encounters, I've been speaking to a girl on Facebook that met Charlie, unfortunately, at a party. She said he was like the contents of a piece of pencil case in bed. Basically, he was stationary. I'd take that fine writer back home. I'd take that fine writer back home to me pen and ruler in bed with no rubber and an impatient hurry. Yeah! But please, this posh tough in the streets of Shields, he wouldn't last a day, never mind a week. The streets are a difficult place for a cynical geek, a typical freak, a stereotypical dork. Give him a saveloy dip from Dixon to be like, gosh, how am I supposed to eat this jolly thing without a knife or a fork? Yeah! See why I'll start being in the shop getting a sandwich with some peace pudding and ham in? This nugget of being McDonald's asking if they do McFoie Gras, McLobster or McSalmon. <laughs> 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 
Lord. Such a gangster, he puts both syrup and sprinkles and double drops flakes in his 99. Standing there in his Roy Cropper sweater at the Oxford Bow Race finish line. <laughs> <laughs> Takes his dog, Oscar the Third, to Crufts every year. Loses every time. And his, his favourite gangster story, his friends is, Yo, this one time I seen a man sniff an actual drug line. <laughs> <laughs> For this guy to pay me would be an absolute crime time. <laughs> So I got a message from Adam Z on Facebook saying I'm going to be in deep end except in this battle. But fuck it, they're in a challenge here that I'm not willing to tackle. You've gone quite a rep and get slayed, and in your local ends. But can anybody tell me where his rep ends? Well, his local ends. But what I'm saying, where I'm from, you're a nobody. So nobody cares that this nobody is getting this embodied for everybody to see. Somebody better stop me before this ginger soulless body is left with no body. No arms, legs, or see the top of his head strapped to the stump of his leg. But I'll make your family witness it and put them all through that pain. But they won't be receiving the body, because I'm going to do a David Blaine and make you disappear like that Malaysian plane. Now I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm not gonna lie. I struggled to write because you've been ragged on so many times for being ginger. I didn't want to bite on other dudes, so I looked at other angles they'd used for you. For instance, they seem to be keep consistently calling you Mark, as if it's a thing to this. But nobody was really intelligent with it, so I thought I could try give it a try, try and fit that stereotype. So let's see what Mark knows. Let's see what Mark does and where Mark goes. Now fuck that. I'm just trying to fit that crazy so the crowd knows. But it was about 50 years ago in Germany that that Mark craze died out years ago. But what I'm basically saying is you're too old for the game. You're 29 but look 40. Start trying to grasp those last strings of life, trying to gather some fame, accept your old age, accept you're a chav that will only ever a minimum wage, keep being a dirty piece of shit with those taxes you evade. <laughs> keep being a dirty piece of shit with those taxes you evade, while people like me in the crowd still pay your job seekers allowance wage. That's <laughs> <laughs> But that's not the only thing about him that pisses me off. I quote against Triple B, you said, I don't lie. So do you want to tell your soon to be wife about all the birds on the side? Are these just lyrics you write? How you sneak into my mother's room at night? So please tell me why you write all this bullshit. You can't start tonight this night, you disgusting prick. So I've got Evan to support my shit. Fuck me. So I've got, I've got Evan to support my shit. Fuck no. Support my shit. Hey, can anyone get on Charlie? Right, so you think you can stand there and actually I'll bore me Charlie Phillips? You must be bore me Charlie Phillips. I got told off a girl, your dick's the girth of a pepperoni Charlie Phillips, and you hang around with more kids than that purple dinosaur. Barney Charlie Phillips gets chauffeur driven around in his dad's Ferrari Charlie Phillips, only caviar and champagne at his. Parties, Charlie Phillips. Where the fuck did your mum get that from? The Salvation Army, Charlie <laughs> See, if this was a game of cards, Prince Charles, call me the king, because I'd be holding a royal flush. You, 10, 7, 5, 4, and a 3. Basically, like Abu Hamza, you don't have the hands to beat me. I'm escalating and elevating above you in this battle league, looking down with the upper hand like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if this was a game... Oh, no, shit, I fucked that right on, <laughs> See, Jesus got a face which hides the fact he was touched up as a kid. His dad was like, we're moving into the future, Charlie. It's all fingerprints and shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want to get graphic and personal when I see what his sick father did, but he stuck his finger up Charles' arse to show him fingerprints and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And his mum, she's definitely not fit. I mean, she watches Come Dine With Me as pornographic material. Only time she fills her bathtub up is with milk and frosties, because that's how she eats her cereal. <laughs> and even though she's fat as fuck and has saggy eyelids and kneecaps and neck wobble, she still struts about town thinking she's Oxford's next top model. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, been, she's been pleasured with hairbrushes, chair legs and glass bottles. Her fanny's had more fingers in it than a straw dispenser in McDonald's. Yeah! And all this vagina action must meet a pussy stretched, big, wide. No man could touch her sides for her. That must be a killer. Even if I brought Michael Jackson's zombie corpse back to life, he climbed inside on the moonwalk all night, he still wouldn't thrill her. Battle rap, when two of them will break each other down and go to war. Like depicting other people's appearances. For instance, does he look like a racist? Sure. The type of guy to be ticking BMP at EDL on his voting card. The type of guy to shout the N word and make a race war start. But he doesn't realise this world is a box filled with variety, different social groupings and aspects of society. 
but he, he thinks race wars come with a three, two, one start. All I'm trying to say is this dumb motherfucker's perception of a race war is like Mario Kart. Uh, he still went on Facebook after I said I'm exposed. And he said, he started threatening me. Calm the fuck down, bro. You're about as threatening as Princess Peach. But today, I'm a threat to you. So I'm that beast has finally been released from that cage. Came all the way from Oxford to Newcastle to find my first piece of prey. But you've got no defense against me. Because you're so generic, half your bars can be aimed at the crowd or me. You're so generic, it's like going into cost and just asking for a coffee. But I'll get straight to the point the way I'm going to mock you. For instance, the way you go from the... <laughs> <laughs> but I'll get straight to the point the way I'm going to mock you. For instance, the way you go for the cappuccino look. Wait, we just... Wait, we just take a look and see. Did you understand any of those bars you just got from me? Because I said cappuccinos like cappuccino. And I said I was going to mock you. Now that's how you structure a bar clever. Sharp man. Now that's how you structure a bar clever. So for the past three rounds I've been breaking you down. So I'm sure your basic style is shit and nobody here will now want you around. Oh, coffee? See, Charlie's dad used to smother his Moses basket and poppers to get his little bum hole relaxing. His, his incestual dick for little Charles would have been harder than a spastic doing a fraction. Put more skids onto a ring than a Formula One car with no traction. His life on this earth is pointless, like an action film. Subtract the action. See, speaking of action films, some said for me to win this battle against Charlie, Mission Impossible. Ha, that's true lies, I'll never take note from a liar. See, I'm bringing you Hellboy, that's the truth like Bruce, I'll make you die hard in this heat, call me the man on fire. Yeah, I've got the Top Gun, Sniper, my two guns gonna get him. Leaving Charles with no way to run like Bruce Willis in his final scene of form again. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's time to crank up the speed, cause I'm flying high, like Charlie Sheen in Terminal Velocity. Yeah. I've heard you've got a classy addiction as well, Charles, and you find it harder to get off the rock than Sean Connery. See, yeah. after this demolition man, I'll be about to terminate you, like Liam Neeson's daughter, victory, take him with a smile, it's gonna be a point blank execution on Charles, like Percy's dry sponge of John Coffey in the Green Mile, yeah. so whip out the machete, bleed, leaving G, skull feast, I'm Tony Montana, taking you out Frank Lopez, I'm top boy, I'll remove G's from the stage, like skin was removed from the face off Sean Arch and a caster, Troy, time. <laughs> Definitely 3 0. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, like, uh, JC's or JS, I always fuck, fuck his name up, but uh, I thought his material would be best, like, fucking at an actual event where people are looking for bars rather than jokes, and I'm in. But he was still okay, and I'm in. But fucking, oh, yeah, he smashed it, crazy jokes and all that, but you need to make, use more fucking multis, mate, even though you are fucking class, and you just stick with some fucking multis, man. Right, I'm just going to say what everyone's thinking. Uh, that <laughs> battle was fucking very crowd biased. Uh, I don't know if that threw Charlie off or whatever, but it, sh it shouldn't have. When you're in those situations, you've got to kind of adapt to it. I've been there myself, and obviously I'm the greatest rapper who's ever lived, so had they been cheering for their hometown, then I probably would have adapted and not shocked, but I actually thought he was winning up to that point. I think it's bullshit that the crowd were reacting to all the stupid shit they were reacting to and not reacting to his part. You're gonna to come to a battle, I don't care if he lives down your fucking street. Don't be a dickhead, like, react to the guy, you know what I mean? I don't watch Newcastle football matches and cry because the other team scored. Uh, so, I still give it to uh, the other guy, but that's because he bullied him, kind of. Yeah, yeah, who cares what I'm saying? What's good, Tinuendo, completely disagree with everything he just said. I went for Oi Oi, I don't think they were not reacting to the other guy because of his hometown advances, I just didn't think he said anything worth reacting to. Welcome back to Get Slated, make some noise for that battle! Yeah! Can I just apologise for my mate saying coffee and putting the other lad off his <laughs>
Wait, I'm gonna let Innuendo announce the decision. 3 0 to the on sound, Ian Omix on this one! Yeah. Yeah. Sick battle. Subscribe to the Get Slated Rap Battles.